In this video, we're gonna talk all about audience segments in Google Ads. Specifically, we're gonna talk about what actually audience segments are, why you might consider implementing them in your Google Ad account. And lastly, and importantly, I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how you can create these audience segments. So make sure you watch the entire video. So firstly, what actually are audience segments? And it's essentially how you are refining or defining your targeting in your Google Ads account. There are a number of different ways that you can define an audience, either with predefined uh, categorizations that Google have, or up, you can upload certain data. That'll become clearer towards the end of this video. But essentially, audience segments are your targeting that you can apply to your Google Ads campaigns. Which leads me to point number two of why you might consider implementing this, because you might find that certain audiences perform better than others, so you can refine your ads to perform better and waste less ad spend. You're also going to need audience segments if you are doing performance max campaigns, so you can apply audience signals. Now that's not required, but it is definitely recommended if you want your performance max campaigns to perform better. So it really is worth you kind of understanding at least the very basics of audience segmenting. So now we're gonna walk you through how you can create audiences inside your Google Ad account. Let's go jump into a live screen share. So where you find your audience section is under the tool section, under shared library, and then audience manager. It is gonna land you on this first page, which is your data segment. So these are audiences that you have created based on your data, based on traffic that's come to your website, maybe people who've watched your YouTube channel, you can upload your customer list. There's all these various ways that you can create audiences and retargeting audiences based on your data. If you're unsure how to do that, I'll put a link in the description and I'm gonna got a video that walks you through how you can create those audiences. Now, before we go into the audience section here, it is worth touching on custom segments because that is one of the targeting options in the audience section so you don't this is optional you don't have to do this but you could theoretically create what's called a custom segment they did used to be called custom audiences back in their day and essentially it's uh, an audience of people who have expressed certain uh, interests or behaviors online so it could be people with it as it says here with any interest or purchased intentions or people who have searched for any of these terms on Google. So here is where you would, uh, let's say give it a name, but you would type in uh, the queries that your ideal customer would use if they are Google searching something that's related to your business. So for my business of teachtraffic.com, it would be people who are Google searching things like Google Ads Help, Google Ads Tutorial, uh, Google Retargeting Audiences, all those kinds of queries which would deem them people who are interested in learning how to do online advertising. So you can create an audience of these people who have, uh, and you would put in all your best keywords here and all those people who have theoretically used those uh, phrases in a search query uh, recently. Now, Google doesn't really tell you the time period. So, you know, these are a bit loose. They're not like a search campaign, but you can also expand your segment by including the people who browse certain websites. So I could theoretically put in some competitor websites. Uh, and so people who've either gone to those websites and also searched for certain phrases, okay? So that's what a custom segment is here. And then if we go to audiences here and we go on this plus blue icon here, here is where we can create an audience really based on a bunch of different criteria. So if I, I'm gonna do the audience name last because I like to name my audience whatever is my definition of the audience. So here is where you would choose a custom segment that you've created. You don't have to select a custom segment here. This is just your option. Uh, and this will include the people who match any of the following. So if I, let's say, do a custom segment, so let's just do Google Ads 2, just because it's there, it's created, and I choose a retargeting audience, it's going to choose it's gonna have an audience of either of them. It's not both, it's either option of these audiences. So your data here will be the retargeting audiences that you've created uh, from your data segments over here, okay? So that's what will show up there. And then scrolling down here, you can also choose, uh, these are Google's really audiences, in market segments, life events, and more. So if you're scrolling down here, this is sort of 
audiences that Google have defined uh, based on people's browsing history. So in market are people who are actively searching and looking to buy and then various things in these sort of categories. So if we choose, you know, auto and vehicles, we can have people who are interested and looking to buy auto parts and accessories, maintenance, motor vehicles. And even within each of these, there are subcategories within subcategories. The more defined you go, the better, the more relevant that audience will be. I would sort of urge you against choosing, you know, these top cat level categories here because they're going to be really broad. So, for example, if I click one of these here, you'll see that the size of this audience is more than 10 billion people. And, um, you know, obviously it, it gives us a little bit of information about that, that the gender's, you know, 62% male and they're interested in all this kind of stuff. So these are some of the characteristics. So if I go to browse, click on this, uh, life events as well. This is also people who created a business, recently started a business or starting a business soon. So, I mean, you know, it's really limited by your imagination of how you want to categorize an audience. Uh, detailed demographics of parental status, marital status, education, employment, and uh, affinity audience. I urge you not to use them. They're sort of very, very broad. Okay. And you can also exclude people from your audience as well. So possibly you would exclude certain remarketing lists. One thing I teach as well, uh, which I, in that other video I said I um, mentioned is to create an exclude list of the people who have actually contacted you and purchased so that you can exclude them from your audience. And you can also refine people based on gender and age as well. So once you define your audience of who you want to target, I would name that audience here, however that is the definition, and then you can apply that audience to a campaign. So if I show you real quick, so here I am actually in a uh, campaign and I've gone to the audience section, uh, which is here under audience keywords and content, and I've added an audience to a campaign. Now I have two options here. I can add it as targeting or observation. So targeting means I only want that ad campaign to target that audience. Or if I want just to observe it, I could change this to be obs observation. And then I can observe how that audience is behaving in that particular campaign to see does it outperform on average and therefore is it worth creating a dedicated campaign for that particular audience. If you're interested in learning more about this, maybe check out our online community teachtraffic.com because I kind of go through a lot of this stuff in depth. But essentially, that's how you create your audience segments, what they are, why you might bother creating them and how you can do it. If you like this video, don't forget, hit that thumbs icon and subscribe. Thanks for watching.